So, by now you should already know I love modded Gungeon. And after some weeks of playing Children of Caliber, I think it's time to move on. Today we are gonna be playing Planet Type of Gunimity, one of the biggest expansion mods available for Gungeon, adding hundreds of new weapons and items, new enemies and bosses, as well as secrets ready to be found. So sit back and enjoy my first round with it, where I challenge the new ball of hell, this time with hell shrines that make it way harder, and a new mini boss cranking the difficulty up to 11. Thankfully, the items we got today were up to the challenge. So yeah, let's get into it. I was pretty scared of this brand new mod, so I decided to play the good or reliable Gunslinger. And to the Ganyu we went. Gunslinger base weapon is pretty good, so I was having no issue clearing up the first rooms. And I was a bit surprised to find a new enemy so early in the round, but here it is. This little guy is called Gloculus, and it's pretty scary to face. I kept on progressing and even got some protection. Killed some more enemies. And found our first shop. Bought the mandatory key. And got my eye on what would be the best item of the run. The Daruma. Went to open the secret floor, I don't even know why, but got a free chest while doing so, so that's pretty good. Found another new enemy, but he didn't give much of a fight. Opened a chest and found one of my favorite weapons. And also went ahead and bought the Daruma. The Daruma is a great item that lets you use a free blank whenever you dodge through a bullet. Also tried to get an item from the egg, but had no luck with it, so I went ahead and challenged the boss. And you know that Gatlingo can get a bit sketchy sometimes, so I was pretty thankful to have the freeze effect. I was also swapping between my main gun and the Colt, so that way I wouldn't waste that much ammo killing it. And lo and behold, it died pretty easily. After that, I went ahead and collected my rewards, an extra heart, and the hexagon, a great sniper rifle. Also opened the extra chest and got zombie bullets, some free ammo every now and then. And that was it for chamber one. Or was it? Because I also found the, an extra secret room full of money. Also some statues that I didn't really get. Maybe if the creator sees this video can tell us about this room a little bit more. I did break them just for fun though. And that was it for the first chamber. On the second chamber I was having a lot of fun with the cult synergy, as you can see, it is pretty satisfying, one of my favorites. After that I went to the second shop and found some bullet amulets. And increasing the black damage when you have free blanks from your active items sounds like a plan, so that was my next objective. And I also bought a key because, I mean, you gotta do it, right? And here I used the Aruma for the first time, that's what it looks like. Found the boss. A uh, useless shrine, my first green chest, also a secret room, so I went ahead and explored it, and found something interesting. This weird thing was asking for some credits, so I went ahead and paid them off. I thought it maybe would give me a chest or something, but it was a boss fight. I wasn't really prepared for this, so I whipped out the big guns. And if it wasn't for Daruma, I think I would have died. Thankfully I was able to lock in, and soon enough it was dead. Boy, if it give me a reward. Two free chests, as well as a lot of pickups. I wasn't that lucky with the first chest, but it did give some coolness that increased how fast our active item charges, some extra speeds also, and I took one curse because why not? Cleared some more rooms and found the second chest of the chamber. Another red one, with a great weapon inside it. 
also found another secret room, but preferred the first chest that we found, and I got magic bullets, which is pretty good. After that I bought God Amulet, that would pretty much one-shot any small enemy in a room where I blank, and went to fight the boss. And thankfully my damage was high, because you know how a Makonda can get sometimes. I also had Aruma with me, so I wasn't that scared at all. Here I almost got hit, but I kept my cool and was able to finish it up hitless. And I was not going to change that room for anything, so I went ahead and got the health upgrade, break the chest that I was not going to be able to open, and that was it for chamber 2. The chamber also went smoothly, and with the new gold amulet that we got, clearing rooms was much easier. Enter a room and found a new scary enemy, in this case it was the Dead Excavator. These guys were loud as hell, it took me by surprise. And after those guys I got a pretty nasty set of two enemies that made me get hit in the end. At least I got a key for it though. Got another key to drop, thanks Gungeon, and also found the chest. Whipped out the RC rocket for this room because I was bored, and it does do a lot of damage. Also found this funny chest room, and went ahead and opened the chest. The item was pretty good. After that I found a boss, the Rat Slayer, with some free coins from the letter, that's new. But an extra key from the shop, and got a pretty mediocre gown from the other chest. After that I went and challenged the boss. I decided to use the RC rocket for this fight, and oh boy if it is a good gun. His cell was getting destroyed. And it's also a pretty easy fight to use the Aruma with, so I was having a blast. You'll see what I mean with this attack. And soon enough the boss was dead, and I got my third master round. And with it I also got a new table tech that sounded pretty fun. And that was it for chamber 3. And to the fourth chamber I went, and I wanted to try out the new gun that we got, but quickly realized it was a pretty bad idea. Got hit again facing the freaking cat, dog, thing, whatever it is. And found a new modded mini boss, the Bullet Banker. It wasn't much of a fight with RC Rocket, I tell you, this thing is broken, and it's only an 8 here. And after like 5 shots, it was over. Found the boss, and went to the shop to see some more amulets. The first one was good, but I saw a modded one that caught my interest, the Tarnish Amulet. This one would apply a new effect to enemies, so I wanted to get that. Found a blue chest, the Cell Crypt, and a green chest in a pretty nasty room. And while I did get rid of the traps, they got me distracted enough so that I did not realize the chest was indeed a mimic. I did get a fun gun from it at least. Got some extra healing from the other chest, it could come in handy. And a big gun from the map guy. We unlocked this one with the previous boss that we fought on chamber 2 I believe. And with that I was ready to face the boss. You already know I hate this guy, but I wanted to try out the new gun that we got, so it was pretty scary. Thank god for the rumor.
And I quickly realized that it looked stronger than it was. So I was not doing a lot of damage to the boss. But I kept on trying until finally he fell. And when he died, something weird happened. We'll have to check that out later. From the boss I got a candy heart, which was pretty good for healing. And an extra heart for the master round. I went ahead and sold the gun that I didn't like. As well as the SSA, because it wasn't that good. And with it I got the tarnished amulet from the shop. Now we were talking with Aruma. After that I went and checked the weird thing, and it apparently was a shop that has changed new items from my master rounds. I wasn't very bright right here and bought one by accident. And decided why not and bought all three of them. Maybe it wasn't the brightest idea, but I kept with it and went ahead to the fifth floor. The items that I got gave me extra damage when explosions happened, I picked up coins while fighting in a room and gave me my new friend. He wasn't very smart, but well, I like the company. And with my newfound strength and, well, six less hit points, I went ahead and cleared all the rooms that I could on the fifth chamber. They grow so fast. Found my first chest, a green one this time. Got a weird interaction where the hand shoots you. That's a weird thing to get on video and sadly it did not last that long because my guy just took it out. Had some close calls here. I was trying so hard to charge up the room, but the gun didn't do that much damage, so I was having a hard time with it. Found the other chest, but without any keys, the green one was winning in my book. Found the blacksmith, bought a key, and used it on the chest that we already found. Got a pretty mediocre gun from it though, but... It was better than a blue chest, I guess. And with all of that done, I went ahead and challenged the fifth chamber boss, our favorite lizard. I decided to use the RC rocket, but it was being kind of weird. Sometimes it did explode and sometimes it didn't. I don't know if any of you guys has gotten this to act like that, so let me know. He was spamming the wings of that guy a lot, which was a good thing for me because I know how to dodge it. I don't know if you guys know how to, you gotta go to the corner, it's very easy that way. And with that he was soon to be dead, I was doing very good damage, but of course you know I had to get hit on the very last bullet before the phase transition. I hate my life. Did the second phase and that was it for the dragon and also for a lead god. Ah, god damn it. And after that we were ready for the bullet hell with four new modifiers. And I tell you, that was hard as hell, you'll see. On the bullet hell we were presented with four shrines and I activated them all because why not? Oh god. The first one was the shrine of the jammed, 40% chance of enemies to be jammed on this floor. The second one was the darkness shrine, it will give you the darkness curse every room. The third one was the Shrine of Petrification, you would not be able to shoot where an enemy died for 7 seconds. And last but not least, the Shrine of Bolstering, increasing enemy attacks by 30% and their movement speed by 20%. With all of that activated I'd leave my first room and boy if it was hard. But it did get harder when you had enemies that you did not know and multiple waves. Thankfully these enemies weren't that strong because I would have died right here. I thought that I was getting the hang of it and was clearing the room pretty easily at this point, but I wasn't counting off a new miniboss enemy. The camera kind of got bugged and I got hit two times by the jam bullet, so I was scared as hell by now. And I was even more scared when he got his second health bar. 
So I know this was an easy dodge and I did have a lot of blanks on me, but I got scared, man. I'm sorry. So yeah, this was my first room and we'll be back for him and for the Lich next time. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe. Here you can see some similar videos and that's it. Love you, bye.